Okay, here we go. Testing one, two, three. We're doing chapter 13, Rude and Babby program evaluation today. Not bailing hay. <clears throat> We're going to briefly, and I do mean briefly because we went a little long on chapter 12 around single um, subject design or single case design, and appropriately so. One, I think it's something that single single case designs you'll probably use more of when you get into practice. Two, you've got a whole course coming up next semester called program evaluation. So you're going to get your fill of program evaluation. But briefly, we're going to go over the go over it. So now the important thing to remember is. Um, Program evaluation uh, is not really different than research. In fact, it is you can more think of it of, of as a type of research or a purpose for research. Go through all the same process. So, um, ultimately, uh, program evaluations are used to assess the success of programs. Uh, uh, determine how problems uh, affect programs and how they're implemented, and to obtain information uh, about programs to be useful in the planning and development project process. <clears throat> now, to some extent, uh, whoever's been in control of the resources in whatever society forever have been doing some sort of an evaluation. Um, <clears throat> in modern times, we, we kind of look back towards Dorothea Dix and the social reformers of the mid-19th uh, century and their efforts to uh, provide um, humane treatment for people with mental illness. Um, uh, and um, which led to the beginning of the um, uh, state hospitalization, state hospital movement, which um, back in those days, the hospital administrators were operating out of a cure model. And so, you know, um, success was based on discharge rates, which was equated with being cured. And incidence of rehospitalization was not considered part of the evaluation. Of course, that was all before, you know, modern models of um, of uh, disease were were applied to schizophrenia or bipolar. They were more th thought of as character problems. Um, <clears throat> following the New Deal, uh, particularly during World War II, there were a lot of um, uh, evaluations um, of you know, the Army evaluated everything. Um, they not only um, evaluated weapon systems, but, you know, boots and clothing um, to psychological uh, uh, um, um, interventions for morale. So so, so it, it kind of fostered a whole new era of, of accountability um, that has been growing with every with every decade um, most recently and and again we're looking at a quarter century ago now that uh, <clears throat> the um, uh, managed care programs became uh, more common and, and then almost universal and um, uh, prior to that um, um, prior to the managed care uh, movement in the in the 80s and 90s, um, pr providers were reimbursed based on categories of illness, not um, whether or not they were effective at treating those illnesses or not. Um, uh, <clears throat> increasingly, managed care companies and other funders are measuring <clears throat> outcomes. Um, uh, especially 
uh, trying to link types of outcomes with uh, and levels <clears throat> of outcomes with types of service. Now, program evaluation is is opening up a whole um, um, can of worms um, uh, that is different than than just straight research. Um, program evaluation brings with it numerous and sometimes competing interests that can can Im impede your your uh, uh, progress towards uh, you know, a, a value-free or value-clear scientific inquiry, um, um, and sometimes uh, those um, um, politics will lead to um, evaluations that are done primarily to meet uh, 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 the favor of the various interest groups. Um, There are ways that um, um, program evaluations try to get around um, um, some of this politics. One is, is having an external evaluator uh, versus an internal evaluator. Uh, but again, um, um, there's going to be a trade-off. Uh, in-house evaluators are going to know things about um, the program that the external evaluator is not going to know and will not be able to bring themselves up to speed on. And finally, uh, there's a lot of politics that go into how program evalu evaluation findings get used. Um, uh, these studies can affect jobs, funding, programs, um, how much uh, Agencies invest in in in, um, in developing new programs, so they're they're pretty important to, to be able to play a political game out there when you're doing program evaluation. Um, typically, program evaluations look at uh, outcomes, uh, whether or not you're achieving the goal and how efficient you're doing that. Uh, Cost-benefit anal analysis, and they do that. Um, um, through process evaluations, needs assessments, and focus groups. Um, now, outcome evaluation essentially fall, follows a goal attainment model. You know, does the does the program do the things that it says it's going to do, and uh, does it do that efficiently? Uh, does it achieve its goals without uh, unintended harmful effects? And then finally, there's the actual cost, and then the cost as it's related to the benefit. <clears throat> now, when we look at cost effectiveness analysis, we are only looking at the the amount the program itself costs, and we're not concerning ourselves wh whether or not this this cost is um, uh, worth it. Versus uh, cost benefit analysis, which is when we Monetize a program's outcome and, and compares cost in that manner. So, so quite often, for example, um, uh, we will um, uh, monetize the, the 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 cost of keeping, let's say, individuals out of state hospitalization, and compare what it would cost to um, to hospitalizing somebody and there, thereby we justify the expenses for uh, local care, uh, for outpatient care or for community support programs. Um, however, sometimes uh, the cost is not necessarily entirely monetary and, um, and, and that's where when we get into to making determinations about um, the value of a treatment over um, uh, just its, its economic costs. So, so we think of, of uh, human rights, uh, human dignity, some of those kind of things. Um, one of the common um, issues related to um, program evaluations uh, 
um, and as, as far as it leads uh, to the subject of goal attainment, is that there are quite often more negative findings than positive ones, and that that often springs from the fact that that uh, uh, small institutions will often have grandiose missions that, when evaluated, that they simply don't meet. Or other times they'll have vague goals that are hard to measure, and and oftentimes they're concerned more uh, with process over 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 output over outcomes. Um, um, Prior to um, managed care, a lot of program evaluation was simply uh, process evaluation. Was it had to do with was was the was the program delivering what it had intended to um, to deliver, and um, and um, was it was it functioning efficiently? Now, now. Process evaluations are are still used to identify strengths and weaknesses, and are still used to recommend improvement. Um, uh, so they they haven't lost their um, their use, but but um, um, they're less valuable to you to your funding sources and, and to the ongoing success of a program fiscally, uh, as is is outcomes evaluation. Now, program evaluation can also mean uh, uh, needs assessments, and um, so you can think of it as a diagnostic evaluation for the agency, as opposed to a diagnostic test that you may deliver to a, to a client or a client group. And um, and we often conduct needs assessments by interviewing key informants, uh, holding uh, some kind of a uh, uh, community fo forum. Uh, we will we will um, compare our um, um, rates of treatment um, uh, rates of treatment to other um, uh, similar types of agencies. Are we under treating or over treating populations? Um, uh, you know, we'll look at social indicators uh, to tell us whether or not there's problems. So, for example, if we see that um, uh, uh, the average age of our constituent area is is following falling because of high birth rates or influx of immigrants, then 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 we we need no we need to change our program. Um, uh, we 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 also rely on community surveys. Um, and, and, and focus groups to to, to uh, accomplish those. And most of that is all is thinking in a more of a macro way. Now thinking at more of the meso or the program level, um, um, your best bet to conduct a good program evaluation is to have set up a good program to begin with. Um, and a good program starts with, with a, a logic model. Um, um, and what the logic model is is a graphic portrayal depicting the essential components of a program, and it really does demonstrate the the, the throughputs uh, of, of the program. And um, and a good logic model will will mean that you'll have a uh, the ability to have a well managed program, um, and that your implementation will be properly monitored, and that short-term and long-term objectives are evaluated as planned. Um, so there are many ways to conduct a, lo a logic model. The, the, the really two that are prominent is the theory-based and the outcome approach. Um, um, here's kind of the um, outcome approach uh, of a logic model. Uh, I should have put lock outcome approach up here. But it's uh, it is essentially a graphic representation of um, of the resources or the inputs. So that's going to play staff, funding, uh, in case sometimes board of director, community cooperation, uh, etc. Uh, what you're going to do, the activities. Uh, 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 
what those activities are intended to do in the short term, increase prisoner empathy for victim in this case. The long term objective is to reduce post release substance abuse, increase uh, post release employment, and finally to reduce um, uh, recidivism. Um, theory based um, logic models are um, usually much more um, complex for more complex um, uh, programs. Um, uh, here we can see the various theories and uh, principles and assumptions, external si systems, factors such as poor economy, a profound effect on individuals on, and families as part of the theory here. Healthy communities provide uh, support, leadership, decision making, and foster respect for cultural and individual differences, etc. Uh, <clears throat> so here's all the things that go in, into, into your theory. Uh, partnerships are important. Uh, job training, uh, job searching, and educational s s services are necessary. Um, uh, participants have a, a, a diversity in their needs. Uh, and, and finally, all families have strengths. And so these are the various activities that they do. We do networking, community improvement, worker development, education, life skills, and family strengthening. And what these... Um, uh, immediate outcomes are, are increased uh, inter-organization partnerships. Uh, participants uh, uh, are attending job readiness classes. Uh, families improve problem sol solving skills. Uh, they have fewer crises. Um, the the intermediate out outcome is that people find jobs. They complete their education. Uh, they uh, complete volunteer activities, and they increase family activities, which lead towards the final goal of um, of um, stable housing. So, this this was a logic model that was actually used in a in a funded homeless prevention program. So, um, if you if you want to go after federal funding uh, and you work in homeless. C. Mulroy and Helen and for a user-friendly approach to program evaluation and effective community interventions for families at risk of homelessness, which was published in Social Work um, in 2004. So, uh, so that's you know our, our our quick bit on on program evaluation. Um, didn't want to burden you because you're going to get it in, in, in a whole class in that next year. But um, the more you can think about looking at your programs that you're in theoretically, um, uh, recognizing that th there's assumptions and principles and theories behind everything that they do, uh, whether stated or not, the more you'll begin to understand how your your agencies work and then you'll be able to evaluate them. You'll be able to build your own agencies and then evaluate them. So, all right. Well, happy researching. <laughs>